right, so I am in a in a bracket group and we're doing beans right now. And I wanted of course I added these beans. To the bracket these beans are really good like the corona bean in general is a good bean if you buy them from a reputable dealer and not some rando off the fucking internet named alma foods don't buy from them fuck them um but i have three different bags of corona beans they say gigante let me see, can you see that? Yeah. So those are those. Um, and that's what I used the last time I made them. But they, I mean, they're the same as the Corona bean, as far as I can tell. I'm going to Instant Pot these uh, Rancho Gordo ones. Of course, my kids are going to be the loudest in the world. They're not even saying nothing. They're not even communicating with each other. They just have to make noise. You just have to. So I'm going to do... The Rancho Gordo ones with an Instant Pot recipe. Um, and I'm probably going to split it because I don't think I'm going to eat a whole pound of beans in a day. Um, also, I don't want to because I want to have... Um, I want to do a shakshuka. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's got eggs and tomato in it and I love it. Um, and I want to do that, but I don't have eggs today. So I'm going to split them. Put some in the fridge for tomorrow because if uh, Mr. Sasha knows what's good for him, he'll come home with eggs. See ya. Okay, so. Ugh. Come on. What on earth? Who does that? Okay. So I've got my Instant Pot. I have one pound of Corona beans minus 10 of them. I did say I'm going to try to grow these. So I kept back 10 of them so I can soak them and sprout them. But a pound of Corona beans in here. And he said quick soak. One minute plus an hour. So. Can I, can I do this today? Can I work the Instant Pot today? So... Um, manual, one minute, when thing is closed, and it'll come to pressure, and then I'll let it sit for an hour, and that's a quick soak, and then I'm going to cook them. Okay, so it's been through the quick soak. I don't have a lot of faith in these. They look kind of, we're going to keep going. It's set. It's set for an hour. I'm going to drain them. Um, Mr. whatever his face is, Dad Cooks, says that you should drain them and then put them back in here with your water, your seasoning, and so forth and so on. But he also suggests that you throw your water down your drain. I have a garden, okay? So I am going to actually take my water and I am going to feed... Probably my sweet potatoes. I haven't watered those in a couple days. Either the sweet potatoes or the sun chokes. One or the other. That's where my gallon, freaking gallon of water. Good bean water down the drain. So I'm gonna drain these and I'll be right back. You say half an onion, you peel it. I don't believe in half onions. So here's one half of the onion, mostly peeled. I'm gonna throw that in there and here's the other half of it also peeled. I'm not gonna deal with half an onion sitting in the fridge. He said rosemary and I have rosemary in the front room, um, but I don't think that's what I wanna do. I have bay leaves because I fuck with bay leaves heavy. Um, so we're gonna do bay leaves. I don't know how many I'm gonna put in here. Let's see. God, bay leaves smell so great. I'm gonna do Three of them? Sounds good to me. What are we cheering for? What are we cheering for? Huzzah. For what? And some salt. I got, um, I don't have fine sea salt. 
I've got the Morton kosher joint. Just gonna sprinkle that in there. And that is that. I think he said 25 minutes. Let me go check before I lie to you. He did. <laughs> 20 minutes. Natural release. I'm gonna let him go. Uh, oh, I don't wanna do manual. Stop that. I should have a setting. Yeah. So my soup setting is 20 minutes. High pressure. And that's that. That's the kids' corn dogs. Because children eat trash. They won't eat. They're not going to eat beans. They're going to eat freaking corn dogs with mustard on it or some shit. Because they're kids. And they're so happy about corn dogs. Fucking. So... It's set for a real long time. <laughs> I am sure it's more than naturally released. We're about to see. I didn't measure salt. I didn't measure um, anything. I put twice the amount of onion because I just, I don't, I'm not in a trusting uh, mood. They look okay ish. Let me eat one. Please hold. I got like three seconds before I got to call a student. So I'm a little rushed. We about to try one bean. Hmm. Very tender, no crunch. So it's not old. The first batch I had of these were really old and it was really crunchy to eat them. Kind of frustrating. I left my oven on from when I made the kids. That's why I'm so hot in here. I always forget to cut my oven off. Do you do that? <clears throat> so, I'm going to drain these um, and probably do a different video about what I'm going to do with them because I've already eaten for today. I have some leftover um, curry. I had leftover eggplant curry. So, my belly is kind of full. And also, I'm kind of like, I love these in a in a tomato egg kind of thing. Um, and I want that. <laughs> so, probably going to drain them um, and prepare. I have some, uh, is it rapini? One of the uh, brassica family. It looks like broccoli, but it's not broccoli. It's skinnier. I've got that. I'm um, probably going to saute that up with some other stuff. I'll do a video. I'll do a video. But these beans are legit. And I hope that you will try them. If they're in stock. Like it took me like eight months to get these beans. Which is why I'm going to try to grow them. Because who, who waits eight months for beans? These are really tender. I fuck with this heavy. You should do it. You should get these beans. <laughs> I'll try to, um, I'll post a link to the Rancho Gordo and also to the Olive Nation one. Both of those places sent me beans and they were not old and stale. I'm not going to post the, the links to the one that you should avoid because fuck them. <laughs> but definitely try these beans and come back and revel revel with me <laughs> you know tell me did you love them how did you use them what are you doing with them talk about it but that's that bye